now we are going to see about cat command which is one of the basic command used in Linux distributions and cat command is used to view the file and also using cat command we can copy a file we are going to view the file DOC1 you can see the content present inside the DOC1 is displayed using cat command we can also view the multiple files sorry DOC1 and DOC2 the first file DOC1 is displayed first and the second file DOC2 is displayed second the next command is we are going to create a new file using cat command using cat command we can create a file and copy and view it but we cannot modify a file we are creating a new file for that cat redirecting operator and the file name now you can see a new file is created and you have to enter the text you want to be inside the file one you can enter Linux enter and open to to save it you have to give control D twice now you can see the file is created you can check it here you can see the content is displayed here the next command is we are going to list the number of lines present inside the file that is we are giving numbers for each line for that cat hyphen n and the file name you can see the first line is represented as 1 and second for empty spaces empty lines also the number is given and for the last line 6 now we are going to see about copying a file using cat command for that enter cat and the file name which we want to copy let me take file 1 and to which we want to copy that is the new file you want to create let it be file 2 now you can see new file is created file 2 and you can check here yes. the contents in the file 1 is copied to the file 2 the next command we are going to see is appending the content of file to another file for that let me create a file first and enter some content and control D now cat and the file 1 I read it in operator twice and the file 2 now the content in the file 1 will be appended next to the content in the file 2 you can see yes initially the file 2 has only the content fedora and unix now here the content of file 1 is appended next to the content in file 2 the next command is 
redirecting multiple files into a single files for that cat and the file name file2 and the new file now the content in file1 and file2 will be redirected to file3 yes first linux ubuntu content of file1 and next content of file2 is redirected to file3 the next we are going to see is about sorting now we are going to sort the content of multiple files into a new file let me create files first enter some content and file 2 and file 3 we are going to sort cat and the file names in pipe symbol and sort and read that in operator and the new file name now you can view the new file name the first the white space is present here three white spaces so three lines and then the content present inside the multiple files are arranged in alphabetic order the next command is placing the dollar symbol at the end of each line and the empty lines for that we are using the option I find e and the file name now you can see in first line it ends with dollar and for empty lines also dollar and the last line also ends with dollar the next command is displaying this some special some special characters and operators for tab spaces that is using cat hyphen capital T in the file name. Now you can see the tab spaces is mentioned by cap and I operators. The next command is viewing the file content in the reverse order. For that, we are using tag that is reverse of cat command and the file name okay. as you can see the first line is last and last line comes first that is the contents will be displayed from bottom to top the next command is displaying numbers only for the lines which is not empty in previous we used hyphen n command to display numbers which displays numbers also for the empty lines now we are only listing the numbers lines which is not empty for that we use hyphen b option can see the number is displayed for the only 
lines which has text the next command is we are using the option hyphen a hyphen capital a and the file name this option gives the combined output of the op two options hyphen e and hyphen capital T you can see for tab the cap and the i is represented in hyphen T option and the dollar symbol at each text lines and for empty lines which we got in hyphen E option next option is hyphen S hyphen S means it suppresses the empty lines and displays the contents of the file cat hyphen S and the doc file name The actual file has three empty spaces, and the iPhone, when we use iPhone S option, it suppresses the white spaces and displays a single white space. The next option we use is cat iPhone iPhone version, which is used to check the version of the cat. 